Hello, humans. Welcome back. So, as you can see, I worked on phosphorus and silicon simultaneously. I'm usually working on at least two, in case one needs drying time or I get bored or stuck. My methodology, for those who care to know it, is to use the central hallway in our house as a staging ground. Back in January, I put eight nails about a foot apart in a row near the ceiling and hung wires with four little loops twisted into them at 16-inch mm, intervals. Then I take my canvases, I hammer a tiny nail into the underside of the upper part of the frame in the back, and then I can hook that onto the loops in the wires, and bingo! 32 elements ready to be painted. When I finish those, I take down the top row and move everything up one, and I keep them in their proper relation to each other so I can make the edges match, and now you know. I did the S and P blocks first, because together they're, coincidentally, eight columns, which is all there is room for in that hallway. Phosphorus here belongs in the P block. It is a nictogen, which is easy to remember because they are named for the top one, nitrogen, just above. And mnemonics are neat. It's a heck of a lot easier to remember than calcogen, the name of oxygen's stack of siblings, which I have to look up every time I use it, and I'm not even sure I'm saying it right. Calcogen? Chalcogen? It's probably calcogen. Anyway, phosphorus changed not at all from its original concept. For once, you can get attached to what you see, because only the small details get fiddled with. It's a pretty straightforward piece. Since white phosphorus is nasty toxic and was used in warfare as incendiary bombs with devastating effect, while red phosphorus is used to make matches and in agriculture to grow wholesome non-incendiary food, and black phosphorus exists but only a little and has but a few uses, horrifying or otherwise, well, the composition really takes care of itself. Center stage we have a Greek goddess-type figure looking all kinds of allegorical and holding a pitchfork. Like you do. There's wheat behind her to symbolize the fact that she is one of the three soil macronutrients. Nitrogen has it too, remember? Lurking at her feet is the sinister wraith of white phosphorus. White phosphorus was the first kind isolated and was named for its chemiluminescence. It glows when exposed to air. Phosphorus is Greek for light bringer. Tangentially, that's what the name Lucifer means. Hmm, intriguing. Anyway, white phosphorus was the only kind they had for a while, so they used it to make matches, but its high toxicity made that a bad idea. The factory workers suffered dreadfully. Look up Fossy Jaw if you want to learn something gruesome. Ugh. But its chemiluminescence was fascinating, and red phosphorus doesn't do that. Red phosphorus is just peachy. It makes a much safer match, and in the form of phosphoric acid is essential to agriculture. It isn't just used as a nutrient, unfortunately. Organophosphorus compounds are widely used as pesticides, despite the fact that they're carcinogenic, and I cannot describe how strongly I feel about that shit, but anyway, that's not a can of worms I felt like including in my painting. Yeah. What I did want to paint was a red woman. All red. She should look like a crimson Athena, but with elf ears, because otherwise people will forget that this is fantasy art. <laughs> I could see this picture in my head pretty clearly. My life is always easier when that happens. As I speak, I'm working on the transition metals, and tungsten is giving me no help at all. The thing is, tungsten is in a column I've been painting as anthropomorphic mammals, so he's going to be a wolf man, which was an easy call to make. His other name is Wolfram, used in Germany and Spain, I think. But what should he be doing? I just don't see it. 
His handle for the metaphysical side of the deck is adapt, referencing the fact that every time a use for tungsten grows obsolete, it becomes important in some other industry, like immediately. A very useful trait, but how do I paint that? It has to be simple, but telling. And I just don't have it yet. Drop me a comment if you've got any ideas. I scrapped the notion of dressing Phosphorus entirely in red because she looked too much like a statue that way. This white overdress thing was my solution, and it will go through a few phases, but it won't change much. I'm not completely pleased with the way the drapery falls at her feet, and I might change that before we get the final photos taken for the cards. I was being lazy, but when it comes to fabric, I always paint better if I've got a model. Even pajama pants flopped over a laundry soap bottle will do, just something. Phosphorus's handle is prosperity. It is very nearly the limiting factor in population growth. It's that important. Basically, if you have phosphorus, you have prosperity. The human body needs it too, but not the pure stuff. Compounds called sulfides are what our cells use to do things. Important things. My grip on the details is weak. Damn it, Jim, I'm an artist, not a biologist. This is me trimming down arms that were way too thick. I have nothing against thick arms, but in this case it was caused by me trying to use a little foreshortening, and I overcompensated for the loss of length with extra girth. Why are you laughing? pleased with how the light is hitting her face. I love painting people in fantastical colors because it makes me work harder to create verisimilitude of skin. And while I might not always succeed, it's so much fun to try. She is holding fire in her fingers because of course she is. Most of the elements with a special relationship to fire include fire in their imagery. It makes the picture more dramatic and hopefully memorable and therefore useful. The crow represents black phosphorus. Like I said, it's not common and not terribly practical. It's gaining ground as a 2D semiconductor material, among other things, because humans are exhaustingly ingenious. Seriously, every time I look up an element, someone's done something new and brilliant with it. The crow will need his own spin-off card. Maybe we'll make the isotope deck next. <laughs> No, that is not my bag. Other artists can pick it up at that point. I've got other projects to attack. It's a tiny little touch, but necessary. I wanted white phosphorus to have blood on her hands. Yeah. Love how the firelight pops against that background. Every nictogen has that sort of streaky, rainy day texture. I'm afraid I did not come up with 19 distinct background textures, but at least the repeats are easy to keep separate because of the nature of the characters. You'll see what I mean. Time to futz about with the overdress. Its whiteness was too similar to the wraith. White phosphorus needed to be the only thing that precise color. I look forward to seeing the cards gain popularity not really for the riches and fame angle, although, not gonna lie, that would be nice, but because I want to see if it takes off more with the tarot-reading bohemian pagan crowd, 
or with chemistry students? Do they even have the kind of minds where it would be useful to, for example, picture three fat satyrs, a guy in a hat, and a pregnant woman with a sword to remember the formula for nitric acid? I know I do, but then I'm not a chemistry student. This is me trying to figure out what's missing. Have you spotted it? <gasps> ding, 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 ding! It was the element symbol. Usually that's built into the composition from the get-go, but this time it slipped my mind. Fortunately, it's an easy fix. One more detail to make the whole thing memorable. And a few days later, I came back to it again because the ears bugged me. Her chin is tilted up. Her ears should be lower on the sides of her head. Again, easy fix. I recognize that this posture and expression are something that we see over and over again in my paintings. It's my standard strong woman look. But I don't think they'll blur together somehow. What's the expression? The phosphor is in the details. <laughs> Something like that. And here she is in all her glory. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know either way in the comments. You could also cause a scene because my science knowledge is sloppy. That'd be cool. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, spread the word, kiss your pets, eat your veg, and stay healthy. See you next week. Mom? Yes? Want to see how much whiting I've done? Gosh, yes. Just let me grab my stuff here. Oh my gosh, dude! I'm well done. A blank page to about a half to about a huge paragraph of a page left. I mean, I mean. Oh like, my goodness! What can you say? I've done pretty well if I do so. I think it's very I'm good to acknowledge your accomplishments.